Okay, so we are good to go. We are recording. Um, welcome to A Look Behind the Curtain, Episode 3 with Chris Celeste. Um, the idea behind these is to have a video interview slash podcast series uh, that answers the question I get the most, which is, is there anybody else in this industry using the same uh, skills and the same uh, teachings that I learned and are being successful with it? So, um, you know, every week we're going to bring out somebody new in the industry, somebody that is on the front lines in their business who is being successful and has really decided to master these skills and take it to the next level. So today I have the honor of having with us uh, Mr. Jeff Stefani. So um, basically what I want to do is just start it off with uh, a brief history of you, uh, who you are, where you come from, and how you got started. Um, brief history, it's uh, basic, I mean, uh, basic blue collar worker, um, born and raised in Boston and uh, spent decades in the restaurant industry. I drove trash track. Um, I've done it all. I've been working, you know what I mean? The, the work ethic was always there. I always busted my butt 60, 70 hours a week minimum. I mean, just to keep the roof over the head. And uh, one day it just, uh, it came to an end. <laughs> it just stopped and uh, I had to find a different way. I was watching, I live out here in Arizona now, I'm watching all these people with all this money and I couldn't figure out how or why they were making it and how they had, I mean, how they're out on, on a Wednesday afternoon for lunch drinking. It was, it was driving me crazy. So um, I ended up getting into, I took a leap of faith. I'm seeing an ad and uh, jumped in and it's been a year and a half of my life is completely and utterly taken a 180 in almost every aspect of it. It's, uh, it's been a wild ride, man. Wild ride. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, when I, uh, I'd like to start with something that, uh, you know, a lot of people when they first get started in this industry, um, you know, there's obviously obstacles. There's obviously roadblocks and things you need to get over. I know, uh, you know, obviously I've, I know you pretty well. I know your story. Um, so I just wanted to have you kind of talk about and, and share with us you know, how, it, how AWOL got started, how getting online with AWOL started for you. I know you have a very unique story um, and your will, your will to push through everything is, is very inspiring. So I'd like to, to hear that from you. Um, when I first started with AWOL, it was, you mean, talk about getting out of a comfort zone. I know absolutely crap about computers. I knew nothing. I knew how to I Google something here and there, get on the Facebook. It's about it. Um, I mean, I was a GM for probably the last eight years in the restaurant industry, but I mean, I knew how to open up Excel and show in what little blocks I needed. I couldn't build out the spreadsheets, anything. I was complete mute when it came to computers. Um, getting into this was a learning curve was a huge, huge, huge learning curve. Just knowing the language, the lingo, everything like that. Um, there, there was times of frustration, man. There was times of frustration and irritation and everything else. It was, I mean, the, the, you, you always get to that point where you think you can't do it. And as soon as you push past it, you realize what you can do. And it, it just kept moving. It wasn't, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows starting off. That's for, that's for sure. It was, uh, it was a lot of tough times financially, a lot of tough times like skill wise, um, getting through it all. But I mean, in the end, like once you get through anything, it, it it prevailed pretty good. Like this month, I've only made it's what what is it the seventeenth? Um, I only made like fifty four hundred dollars so far this month. But I also don't even have any ads running. These are ads that I had running before. They're still generating money. I mean, I'm, I'm just sitting around making the money. I'm working on other things in the background getting ready to launch it real, real soon. But hopefully today I get my copy uh, revised. But um, yeah, other than that, man, it's, I mean, it's the end result, like getting to that end result. Like I, I how many years that I work in the restaurant industry, freaking 30, driving trash. I mean, I've been working my entire freaking life and I never got any whales. Always just keeping the roof over my head and the lights on. I took a look at my savings. I'd have to live till I was 187 years old to be able to retire. So, I mean, I knew that I had to make a move. If you're not making more money while you're sleeping, you're going to work to the day you die. And that's just a fact. And that just wasn't the way I was going to do it. I was going to put it all on the line for this. Work my ass off, man. I'm telling you, it's been 12-hour days, seven days a week, months on end. But, you I mean, that's what entrepreneurs do. They'll do what most people won't do for two years to, you I mean, live like most people can't for the rest of their life. <laughs> you know? 
Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, it's it's. Oh, I got an echo. Um, we're just gonna mute you while I'm talking. That way, it doesn't echo. Um, just <clears throat> two things you really said just now that really kind of resonated with me. One was you you're making fifty four hundred dollars a month organically without paid traffic, just things that you've done already. And uh, that's that's really amazing, um, you know, to, to be able to do that, to, to build something out once, have it stay on the internet, and still be producing you an income without you having to do anything, while you're still obviously working on a lot of other things. You know, you have a, an entrepreneur's drive, you're, you're always looking for more, so it's, it's really awesome that you're still pursuing other things. But the fact that you still have, you know, almost six grand coming in a month just organic is, is really cool. No, yeah, I'm growing halfway through the month. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, July has been a blessed month for quite a few people in AWOL, including myself. Um, I've been talking with the community, and it's been it's been really profound. You know, with AWOL launching the new AWOL X, people have been doing really well as well. So, um, so just a real quick, I know um, you kind of got involved in in AWOL, and you you know you had uh, Facebook kind of shut you down, so you you know powered right through, you didn't let that stop you like it does so many other people, and uh, just went in and decided you were gonna learn YouTube, you were gonna learn another medium to keep promoting, to keep making an income. And uh, I just kinda, if you will, kinda just share a little bit about that, um, you know, cause that was a huge roadblock for you that you did not let stop you, and so many people do. So I feel like having you talk about it a little bit will help those who are really getting down on themselves when, uh, you know, big, the juggernauts like Facebook and YouTube shut them down. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's part of it's part of the game. I, I, at that point, it, I worked my ass off learning all this stuff to place my first ad to get shut down in the first thirty hours because I was uncompliant on some background music or something or some copyright violation that I had no clue about. First, it ripped my heart out. I mean, I just wasted. I feel like I felt like I wasted all that time. You know what I mean? I was, I was killing myself to learn all this stuff. In the first 30 hours, I'm done. And I was just like, I mean, it, it, it hurt. But then I'm like, it, it was more of an, um, an angle like, you don't want me, I don't want you. So I went and got books. And I read these books two weeks, I mean, day and night, back to front, cover to cover, several times and, until I was able to actually get an ad up on YouTube. And it just, it took off. It took off. I mean, it, it, I was just waiting for it to get shut down. I'm like, here we go again. Here we go again. Was, but it didn't happen. It just kept moving and moving. And it's getting past that first obstacle that that, that it is where a lot of people stop. Well, that didn't work. You know what I mean? It, the American society, it's just like, oh, I got a headache. I need a pill. Uh, I got to go bath. I need a pill. I need to wake up. I need a pill. They want that instant satisfaction. And that is just not what this is. You know I mean, it's, um, Yao even said it. You are 100% guaranteed your success the moment that you commit to success but people forget about that word commitment commitment is you're there listen i didn't go out with my friends on happy hour or on the weekend nights i mean that money was ads and i mean they would just well we gotta blow off steam well if you're blowing off steam and you're going out and you're drinking and you're waking up feeling like crap your life still sucks and now you feel like crap and your life sucks. It just wasn't making sense to me in a lot of different ways. So there's a lot of things, sacrifices you have to make. Like you can't live your life the same exact way and have different re results. Nothing's going to change till you do. And um, the one great thing about AWOL is the mindset is there too because there's, there's no other program out there that hooks the mind in. Like you see where you've stopped yourself over the years, like having that mindset and business skill. Because these skills, uh, uh, people underestimate these skills completely. TV, uh, newspapers, radio, commercials are all done. They're on their way out. And once the big guys figure it out, which they're going to in the next few years, when they'll, they'll see their bottom line start dropping. Nobody watches TV anymore. They go on demand. They binge watch. They uh, stream it on the computer. Uh, same thing with radio. Your, your phone hooks up to it. You play your playlist in your car. You're not listening to commercials. Uh, newspaper. Who the heck reads a newspaper anymore? Everything is coming to digital. Everything is going digital. The whole world. I mean, the internet is not going anywhere. When I, I remember when the internet came out, everyone thought it was a fad. Ain't a fad. It, this is, it, it's here to stay, and it's actually controlling everything we do. Mini malls are shutting down across. We're in the biggest economic shift this this country has ever seen, like, well, in the last hundred years, at least, you know what I mean? Many malls are shutting down. Taxi drivers are losing their jobs. If you're not picking up skills for the future, 
you're hurting yourself. You're going to be, you're going to be left in the, in the dust because it is changing. And the one thing great about this is there is no cap on how much I can make. The harder I work, the more money I can make. I, I can make as much as I possibly want. You know, there isn't like I, I traded five hours for, you know, a hundred dollars. There, yeah. There's none of that crap. It's, this is where it is going. And like, I mean, I'm, I am so grateful and like honored to be able to be part of it and get into it. And, and move forward. My wife is, I mean, I'm sitting out here on my porch on a freaking Tuesday afternoon. I'll, I'll be going swimming in a few minutes to take my break. And, and <laughs> you know what I mean? But it doesn't start there, guys. It doesn't start there. There's a lot of pain and toil to get to the point like where, where we're at. It's, you know what I mean? But that point does come if you stick with it. Either that, this is a lot, it's a lot easier than going to your job nine to five or nine to nine every single day just to keep the roof, um, the roof over your head. It really is. I mean, it's either you're working on your dreams or you you have a job working on somebody else's dreams. So that's kind of the choice that you, you got to make here and there. You yeah. know, and it's uh, everyone's, I hear the word scam a lot. I'm like, stop laughing. I'm like, this is a business. This is an, it's an education. It's a business. It is. Yeah. You got to learn it. Yeah. So what? You got to learn something, right? I mean, it's, I mean, quitting, you don't quit. I see too many people quit. Quitting is taught. You've never seen a toddler learning how to walk, fall down, and never get back up. You were taught to quit somewhere along the line, and that's that's the shit. That's the crap that has to go out the window, man. You know what I mean? That's that's what has to happen. You bring the best version of yourself to the table and really just start to kick some ass for yourself. Yeah, I mean, you made, you made several really great points, um, you know, starting with mindset and skill set, right? So you can't – the skill set is – you know, beyond, you know, very unique and very thorough and you'll be able to set yourself free with it. But if you're still thinking and acting the old way, then the skill set's not going to benefit you. You're still going to get in your own way, which is why, you know, AWOL is so great about, you know, having the courses like Awake and Activate Accelerate um, that help you with that mindset as long, along with that skill set to really optimize yourself and then move that into your business and set yourself free. And another thing you said that really resonated with me was that, you know, when you first started and you started learning, you know, you didn't go out on Friday nights to burn off steam. You didn't, you know, you were cooking all your meals at home. You weren't going out to eat. You were just really dedicated and honed in. And uh, I can really relate. The first four months that I was really getting into AWOL, my friends didn't even know who I was. Like, they, Chris who? You know, the only people who saw me were my children, my sister, because she was helping me watch my children at the time so I could learn these skills and my wife, that was it. You know, it, it, that was it. And until I knew enough and I felt confident enough in these skills to start making money online. And it really wasn't until I made my first commission online that I started backing off a little bit. And honestly, looking back, I should have never backed off because I would have been where I am today much faster if I hadn't, you know, kind of, said, oh, okay, I'm making money. I can back down a little bit. It's, like, it's not how it works. You know, this industry is so rewarding to those who stay consistent and do not let up on the skills they learned. Uh, you know, being able to, to do the five pillars of AWOL every day uh, is absolutely one of the biggest reasons why I have the success I have today. You know, I'm not a computer genius by any means, and I'm not, you know, I don't know how to write code or, and I'm no genius, but I just literally took myself to a level of humble where I knew I knew nothing and just dedicated myself to learning a new skill set and li listening to every word, not thinking I could do it better. And then literally applying what I was told into the marketplace and then watching that come back to me, you know, five, tenfold, just because I was able to not try to reinvent the wheel. Notice I had an amazing training in front of me and then utilize that training to set myself free. Simple as that. And, you know, I know you, you uh, do a lot of the moderation for uh, our Facebook groups throughout the community and you see it a lot where, you know, people are always looking for the secret sauce or what's the, all, the secret really. And the secret <laughs> is commit yourself to learning these skills and these skills will set you free. Simple as that, right? Am I, am I wrong? Yeah. No, not not at all. It's like um, it's like that movie, the Kung Fu Panda. There, 
Yeah. yeah, I mean, that little duck going, oh, the secret ingredient. And at the end, he tells you the secret ingredient is there is no secret ingredient. And that's just it. It's, I mean, not reinventing the wheel, doing like what you're told. Everyone tries to, well, I'll do it better. Like, if you're just starting out, just come in with a fifth grade mind. And you, you absorb it all and just, re, re, just repeat what, what, what it is. It isn't like people go, oh, it works. I'm like, well, it's. It's not like a shysty thing. It's 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 an education. It, this is this is digital marketing. What do you mean it works? This is this is what it actually is. Of course it works. You know, it's like saying math. Oh, math, it works. It, it, yeah, it's it's exactly what this is. This is a it's, it's a skill set that is it's actually in huge demand. And yeah, um, yeah. like last night on um uh, one of the calls, I mean Ben was mentioning like ninety five percent of internet marketers don't even get a lead a lead and like you come into a wall and people complaining about their 10 leads a day if you only knew like what was really going on out there this education this is 10 years compiled into probably like 40 50 hours worth of videos like it, you're not going to learn it in 40 50 hours that, that i can guarantee you but i mean it's all there all the information is there it's just go back and see it again and and just set it up and go for it and it, you'll it's like it's so easy now i remember doing it and how hard and frustrated i was and i was just trying to wrap my head around it because i was overthinking it's kind of funny the obstacles we put in our own way mm. but um, i look at it now i'm like man this man, this shit's pretty easy you know <laughs> yeah i mean i completely relate you know when you're first sitting down learning a whole new skill set these things can seem like huge obstacles and insurmountable odds against you to like learn this whole new skill set. But what it comes down to it is that if you take the time to learn it and be, and you know, like, just like you said, you know, sometimes you have to go through it a couple of times. Uh, you know, the trainings I've been through each one of those trainings at least five times a piece. Yeah. Uh, and, and I still don't know everything. I'm still learning something new from, from people every day. But if you take what's there, you will know enough to get yourself to a level where you can really blow this up and really get yourself financially free, you know, um, and owning a business that will allow you to follow your passions and write your own paycheck. But like we keep telling everyone and it takes work to get there. You have to learn a skill set in order to have these things. It's not just, you know, I'm going to watch these videos once. I'm going to absorb everything. I wish that was true. You know, there are people out there that can do that. Most of us can't. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to keep applying these things, keep going through the videos, keep learning, and then move forward. You know, it'd be really nice if it was a world where, you know, you watch something once, you retained all the information, and you just kept moving forward. But not all of us have that ability. But what's super, what's really great is that, you know, when you go into a company like AWOL and you start learning their training, you have the access to that training as many times as you want to watch it. It's not a one and done system. It's that training is there for you. You can keep watching it. You can keep going over it. You can get asked questions of the community until you know it enough that you can really go ahead and do something with it. And I mean, there's so many success stories within our community. And if there's a common thread between all of them, it's that they didn't give up. And then they learn the skills instead of trying to find the paycheck. You know, don't chase the money, learn the skills. And then the money just kind of follows. And, you know, you get to a certain level where I, I personally feel I'm at now is that, yeah, I make really good money online. But that doesn't matter to me because if I can't turn around and do things like speaking at Elite Summit or helping host Awaken or do one-on-ones with people in the community and help them get their funnel up and running, it means nothing to me. Because being of service and helping others set themselves free is worth more than the money. And it just so happens that it's very lucrative to also do that. You know, the more people you help, the more money you make. And it's a, you, know, you and I have been through the entire trilogy that AWOL offers. So I think that that mindset is kind of something that comes along as you grow. Um, but speaking of, of uh, the events, live events, I know you've been through all three with me. We both, we graduated Accelerate together. Um, in your opinion, how impactful have those events been 
for your growth in this company and personally? Um, those events uh, completely changed everything. Um, from everything, it's like I said. I, don't, I mean, it doesn't matter like what what side of uh, the the tracks you're, you come from. Like, I mean, I was born and raised on welfare, but be, before this, I mean, I was making money. I did work hard, just like everybody else, killing yourself to make that check. But those events, like, I mean, wh why have I not moved forward? Why am I not making it? Why am I not successful? Um, I found out a lot of different things where I stopped myself. Uh, where my comfort zone was was exactly where I. I was staying and getting out and being uncomfortable. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and doing things you've never done before. That's how different results pop out. Those, those events changed everything. And not just my business, but my, my relationships with my, my girlfriend, relationships with my family, relationship with myself. Um, I mean, it's always, always looking like, how do you find happiness? Happiness is a journey, not a destination. And it was going, going through all that is what changed everything. And, subconsciously how you work in your own business uh like like you said helping people i mean i got up at 6 30 this morning hop on a call with a couple of the guys maybe while they have their mastermind early in the morning because they're in the east coast i got up at 6 30 and jumped on and i, I mean help them point them in the right direction sometimes it's the simplest little thing that just propels you into the next four levels of where you're going and what you're doing and like you want to you want to take that we're not holding back secrets like oh i know it you better learn it no, we're going to help each other. You have everyone else to do their own learning, but you I mean you get support like you've never seen. It's, it, it, I mean, you, me, you, everyone goes out of their way, bends over backwards to be able to help you make, make you make it. It's, it's the way it is. It's, that's what those events have done. Having that mindset is everything. I mean, success is no secret. It's a science. Yeah. But if you, you, uh, if you stop at everything, you point the finger at everybody else and, I mean, oh, it's the program's fault. It's this guy's fault. It's, um, I mean, it's the governor's fault. I mean, it, no, 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 no. Look in the mirror. It's you. I mean, and it's a tough thing to do, but like once you do it, so what? It's me. All right, let's fix this. And you get it done. And now that was the best thing with those courses. I mean, it, it had nothing. It, it, the victimization out there right now is huge. And it's, I mean, I didn't realize I was a victim. I was a victim to my circumstances my whole life. I had no idea. And once I broke through that, it's like, like I said, I've already made almost six grand this month and it's only halfway through the month and I haven't done anything. You know, yeah. <laughs> amazing things really start happening when you get out of your own way. Awesome. awesome. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, I mean, the live events are just that. They, they help you to learn more about you, become the best version of yourself, and then be able to bring that forward. And I couldn't have said it better than you just did. That was well said. Um, so what I would like to uh, to ask you next is, um, I know that you you did a lot of reading when it came to like Google AdWords and stuff like that, and you know that that is very useful. But have there been any other books, um, you know, that you have read getting started in the first you know couple of first year that you got started that really impacted you and and helped you to move forward uh, in your in your business? Oh, um, and they weren't even books on marketing. It was um, thinking grow rich. Um, the Richest Man in Babylon, The Secret, The Magic, um, books like that, that actually propelled um, Happy Pocket Full of Money, where you find out, like, I mean, it, it, those books are just so powerful. I mean, I, I, I read them again and again, because they're just, they're, they're just great books. There's a lot of books out there that, like I said, you said it time, in mindset. Everyone has the ability to do whatever they want. Anybody can do whatever they want, no matter where you come from, what you've done, what you've done in the past is what you've done in the past. What you do today is going to affect tomorrow. So taking care of your head and books, books along that line are just great. You know what I mean? They're not self-help books. They, I don't even know what self-help means because if you're reading a book, that's help. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it, it kind of just don't make sense to me, but they're, they're books that put give you a different perspective on what is actually going on. Not with just, I mean, in the world, but in your life and how you can actually respond differently instead of reacting to it all. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny because this is the third episode I've done. You know, I've done uh, two others previous. Uh, and whenever I bring up that question about books that were impactful, there's a common theme. Like, it's the same book every time. And there, I mean, there's a reason that these books are so impactful and so useful. You know, the magic, learning to live in gratitude, 
uh, Happy Pocket Full of Money and Think and Grow Rich, both of them fundamental books to learning how to be of a better mindset and, and, and really move into uh, manifesting things into your life. Like that's a real thing. People are like, oh, you know, it's, that's voodoo. It's like, no, that uh, I'm, I'm part of a group of people, hundreds of people who do that all the time. So it's not too hoodoo voodoo when, you know, <clears throat> there's actually a science behind it, which is how to pocket full of money teaches the science behind it. And, it, you know, it's, it's a real thing. Like, you know, yeah, you, I used to think it was all bull crap. I thought I was like, okay, here we go. We're joining the cult. Uh, but it's, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's the furthest thing from it. You know what I mean? The only thing that's ever taught to you is believe in yourself. And that is it. There's no rhetoric. There's no nothing. It's like, I mean, once you believe in yourself and you find out what is actually possible, like you said, manifesting stuff does happen. Like when you want it and you need it, it's, it, it's there. Like people have coincidence. That's coincidence. You ever have that phone ring? You were thinking about somebody and the phone ring and it was them. That, that mean manifested that. I mean, it's not a coincidence. It's, it's actually out there. And uh, yeah. the, the more you learn about it, the better it's, Getting in, getting in touch with yourself and getting in touch with what you're doing because subconsciously you start working towards your goals every day. Every day you start working, keep working towards your goals, and there's no absolutely zero way you can't have them. There'll be there'll be obstacles, but that's that's life. Does life happens no matter what? I rather I mean there'll be days I'm gonna be crying. I'm gonna be crying on my fucking yacht. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's something that I talked about in the last interview. Um, you know, you're never not gonna have problems like. That's just life. You know, things are going to come up that you're going to have to overcome. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be issues. The quality of the issues or problems is going to increase the more you increase yourself. So the more you educate yourself, the more you uh, build yourself up, uh, <clears throat> the, the quality of those problems is going to become better and it's going to become easier. I'll take the problems I have today over the problems I had even back in January, any day of the week. It just becomes a, and maybe it has a lot to do with the way I think now, the way I'm changing the way I think, because I feel like there is no problem I can't overcome. I'm very solution oriented now. So that, you know, the more problems I get, the more I'm like solution oriented. And this is going to be a new learning experience for me rather than, Hey, how is this, you know, ruining my life, <laughs> which is how <laughs> I do the thing. But um, yeah, dude, you hit on it, you hit it right on the head. It's just, you know, you're going to have problems. And it's how you, you come at those problems is how it's going to dictate your quality of life. You deal with them different also. Like I noticed one thing. It's, um, I know anybody out there, I know everyone's had these days where, all right, maybe the kid's screaming, something's burning on the stove, you're getting tied down, you're getting frustrated, the phone's ringing, you're, getting, you're feeling overwhelmed, then you stub your toe, and then it's explode point. Everyone's hit that point where like they just can't take that anymore. That don't happen to me anymore. You know what I mean? I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they, problems are as big as you make them. And they always stem from somewhere else on how you respond to them. And like things like that just don't happen anymore. Like I said, that's the power of the mindset that, I mean, the obstacles in business, well, oh boy, that sucked. And you just keep moving forward. And you just keep getting better and keep getting more successful. It's, um, the mindset is, it's, there's a reason why 80% of the Powerball winners uh, claim bankruptcy in the first five years. They don't have the mindset to actually have that kind of money. I mean, there's a reason why they never earned that kind of money is because the mindset wasn't there to even have it in the first place. It was dumped on them and they, they blew it all. They lost it all. They lost it all and then some. Um, and that's, that is the power of having the mindset to keep everything moving. Yeah. So, and then I, you know, obviously you and I have been on this personal development journey, I'll call it, and developing our mindset to be that of someone of wealth and abundance and uh, solution oriented. But um, I know it might take a little bit of digging in yourself, but when you first got started and your mindset was not quite there yet, um, what were some of the obstacles that you came across getting started? I know we talked about, you know, the ad account getting shut down, but what were some other ones that had come up to for you? And then how did you overcome them? Cause I know, uh, you know, Obviously, this interview series and podcast is built out because people are looking for proof that there's success in this, proof that they can do it as well. You know, everyone has this kind of belief that, oh, well, they can do it, but I can't, which isn't true because you and I are, you know, living proof that anybody can really do this. Yeah. You talk yeah. about how you're, you know, you, you're still computer 
uh, uneducated, we'll call it, because I won't say illiterate, because you, you know enough to get what you're doing. Yeah. What you're doing. And I got told by doctors that I would never be successful, that, you know, the scar on my brain from Afghanistan was literally going to limit me from ever really learning well or becoming, you know, someone who lives in an abundant lifestyle. So you and I are both living proof that that's, you know, the story you tell yourself is absolutely crucial to who you'll become. And if you can change the story you're telling yourself, you can become anything. Yep. Successful at anything. So I just want to hear kind of from your, your words and, and your story, what are some of the things that you had to overcome and how did you overcome? It was um, like at first, obviously it was uh, the tech issues. It was financial issues. Um, I put a lot of weight on money. Like, Oh my God, I ain't got that. I mean, I started looking at my accounts, the accounts are dwindling. I don't I didn't know what I was doing. There's a lot of, a lot of, lot of self doubt, but by then I was already, waist deep and it was kind of a uh, an effort moment i'm like that yeah, screw it i'm going at it and i, I kept going and kept going then like after the account got shut down my heart got ripped out anger fueled me but i used that fuel to educate myself but then like a couple weird things happened um they, i hit a point where i thought i learned everything i'm like is this it i mean that this is it my blinders were still on and um going to events taking advantage of like everything a wall gives you is I mean, I mean, everything is just an eye, eye opening, brain opening. The whole world opens up to you. The experiences there are huge. Thank God, um, I forced myself to go like to some of those events too. I'm like, I'm just going to do what successful people do. He has the results I want, not my buddy who's out at happy hour. You know what I mean? Drinking his, I mean, drinking his pain away. I mean, believe me, I did plenty of years of that. It didn't get me anywhere. You know what I mean, so I wanted to do something that other successful people are actually doing. And that's actually what kind of opened up my eyes. Then I got the fear of success. Um, I leave in my comfort zone. I'm used to working like an animal and not just making money. It was kind of scaring me. You know what I mean? Like, no, like now what? Now what do I do? You know what I mean? Um, there's, there's a lot of mental, a lot of mental blocks that you're going to go through or anybody's going to go through along the way that nobody even knew they were there. You know what I mean? Because you never left your comfort zone. Leaving your comfort zone is like makes your skin crawl. I mean, you're uncomfortable. I don't want to do that. I don't want that. I mean, that's the first thing you got to do. If you're uncomfortable, go and do it. Who cares? You know what I mean? We're here for, we're here for a good time, not a long time. So getting through it was, um, thank God I had the support of my girl. But a lot of my, what the frick, a lot of my friends and family, they weren't all that supportive. You know what I mean? Um, especially my friends. I mean, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like misery loves company type of thing. I started seeing things different. Then, you, then you're lonely. And I mean, it, it's not an easy ride at all. It was it worth it? F yeah, hell yeah, it's worth it. I mean, it's worth it now, but going through it, I mean, you question yourself through everything. But I just kept doing, following people that had the results I wanted. And that's what I followed. I stopped following like all my friends that ain't doing anything. You know what I mean? And the, 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 out there just causing drama. Everyone's all worked up about gossip. I'm like, I can't even listen to that stuff anymore. I don't care. It's a waste of my time, you know. I'm here to enjoy life, but the uh, the mental blocks are definitely the toughest. But just keep moving forward, even as uncomfortable as it is. Going to events, getting in groups, and talking to people you don't know about deep shit. I mean, which is like I ain't doing that. Should because that's what helps, <laughs> and that's what helped me is um, the community. I mean, like-minded people. Everyone goes through the same pain, and going through it together is a lot better than going through it alone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It reminds me, um, you know, when I first got started uh, with AWOL and I started having access to Dakota's vlog, the Live Free vlog, uh, one of the older ones that he did was when he was first starting Get Successful and he went to a live event. He talks about the importance of surrounding yourself with individuals who are on the same path as you, but are just a little bit further ahead. So people who are having the success that you are trying to achieve and the ability to get in, you know, and, and uh, Jang and I talked about this in, in his interview is to have, to be able to actually get in a room with them, you know, being on a, a web interview or the, you know, we do weekly webinars and we do all these things to help train people but to literally be in a room with somebody, catch their mannerisms to talk to them and, and really learn what it is that's making them successful a five minute conversation with that person who's, you know, even a step ahead of you can be what you needed to really launch yourself to that next level. 
And it's like, just you, like you just said, getting around this community, which, you know, we both know how supportive it is. You know, you and I give almost everything we have to back to this community because it's benefited us so much. You, especially you, you know, you're, you're very involved with the, you know, the online community and I try to do my best to get back as well. But yeah, um, you know, without this community, I wouldn't be where I am today. Without the proper mentors and the training, I wouldn't be where I am today. And, you know, Jang and I spoke about that. He, he tried seven different um, types of online marketing before he actually linked up with Cam and Kiala and the AWOL community. And, you know, with the right mentor and the right training, really launched himself forward. So it's really cool that you hit on that. Um, something else I really wanted to talk to you about, um, because you, you went elite almost immediately, just like myself. Um, what were some of the contributing factors to why you believed you needed to go elite? And what were some of the obstacles that you had to overcome uh, to become elite? Uh, I know uh, when Jang and I talked about it, money was a big thing for both of us. We didn't have yeah. that money to invest in ourselves and our education to move forward. You know, I had to take a loan out. Um, from the bank and get a down payment, the money for a down payment for my, my family to even get started. Um, so I just kind of want to hear, you know, a little bit about your journey as well. Um, yeah, finances were definitely a, uh, a freaking issue. Uh, finances and the leap of faith that I was making. I'm like, am I, am I just going to throw all this money away? What am I nuts? Um, I had to sell my car. I sold my car. I mean, I, I, I was going to lead. I was going, it, my, the, the information, it was education I was getting, it, the value was exceeding. I couldn't wait to go a week because I could only imagine like what kind of information I was going to receive on that, at that level. And that level would actually change my life. That is what changed it all right there because um, it, fast track it. Yeah. I mean, like I said, they, they've already suffered for 10 years before they come up with all this stuff and they know how everything works, the ins and outs, and they teach it all to you. I mean, is it, it, is it free? No. Does, does anyone respect anything that's free? No. It's, a, it's worth 10 times the price that they're charging, I'll tell you that. Because, I mean, that's, that's how much I've been making. It's not an issue whatsoever. It's the money. I mean, money is the last thing that comes an issue, but it's, it's that leap of faith that you're going to make. Like, ugh. Uh, it's a trust issue, first off, and then like finances. I, I sold my car. I mean, to go awaken, I sold three suits. You know what I mean? I, I had suits for for work. I, I sold those like so I could afford a ticket to awaken. I started looking at all the crap that I, I mean, acquired over the years that I don't touch, I don't use, I don't need. It was all that material object trying to make yourself feel good for working so hard that you deserved it. I mean, you deserve more. You deserve to treat yourself good. When was the last time someone invested in themselves? That was the first time I invested in myself, and it felt great. Getting rid of the car was liberating. I got it back. You know, I did get it back, but it was liberating getting rid of it because I knew I was doing something for myself for the first time and yeah. instead of what I was supposed to do. You know, my family thought I was freaking nuts. I thought I would put my lid, but uh, – <laughs> The finances are always a tough thing. Even if you have it, getting rid of it, even letting it go is just like, why would I give it to you? But what you get back in return, the value of the courses, the value of the community is just, it's unprecedented. I mean, it's like when we go to Accelerate, my girlfriend goes, how was it? I go, that was worth a half million to me right there. I mean, that, that, that course alone is worth, I would have paid, if I knew what I was going to get out of that, I would have paid a half million dollars. I would have sat outside a bingo hall and begged all the winners to get some extra cash until I had a half million to pay for it. That's what that meant to me. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, it, some people don't understand that, but I mean, once they start going through it, they get it. I mean, they all get it. Yeah, I completely agree. Uh, I think it was, you know, accelerates a nine day course. And I think it was the morning of the second day that I woke up and we were sitting there at breakfast and I was like, everything past this point, it was a bonus. It was well worth the money already. And I've only been here, not even 24 hours. Yep. Like that's, that's how profound I, I found that, that whole experience to be. And that, you know, there's much more that happened over the next nine days that really, really blew my mind and helped me to understand more of what people already saw in me that I didn't realize in myself. And, you know, you were there with me, so you understand a little bit more yep. anyone who gets the opportunity to go through those courses is going to be able to, uh, experience that on, on a different level as well, which is, is going to be amazing for them. And I can't wait to hear some more stories about how people are, are growing through that. Um, so just to uh, transition, I think we got about 10 more minutes. 
uh, before we're all done. So um, what I'd like to do is kind of just, you know, talk to you a little bit about how, because I know you, you had some great success pretty early on. What's up, Kate? Give me one second, buddy. Okay. All right. All right thank you. Um, <laughs> I think he wants to say hi to you, Jeff. Hey, buddy. Hi. How you doing? Good. <laughs> that boy. All right, but can you go play for a minute? Um, I love it, Jeff. Um, grab the apple and Okay. Well, go play for a minute, buddy, and I'll be right there, okay? Yeah. Thank you, love. Ugh, we had an argument about an apple earlier. He wanted to apologize right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love kids, man. Uh, That's awesome. But, um, you know, we, we take that leap of faith. Uh, and we don't have the finances to get started. And, you know, so many people are willing to drop, you know, twenty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, you know, a semester to go to college to learn a skill that's not guaranteed. But so many people are reluctant to, you know, take a step forward and invest in themselves in other aspects other than traditional universities and colleges. Uh, people like yourself and um, everyone else that I bring out on these interviews are kind of the 1% of the population who were willing to invest in themselves in an unconventional manner and now see the reward, you know, 10, 20, 30 fold uh, from it. So what I'd like to ask you, and if, if you're not comfortable sharing these things, it's completely cool. I know very, many people in this industry uh, don't like to brag or be boisterous, but how long did it take for you to get back that initial investment and what's been your best month? Um, my best month is, just under 10 grand for like four or five months in a row. Um, not working very much, but that was also because I was working in the agency. I wasn't really running a lot of my own ads. Yeah. Um, I was mastering my skills at that time. Uh, to get my investment back, 67 days. Damn. Yep, Damn. took me 67 days. I, I just did what I was told, man. Those five pillars, people don't want to do them. Um, like I said, there's sacrifice involved. Did I sit around watching a Walking Dead? No. I read a freaking book. And, I, and I'm not a, really a big reader, but I read a freaking book. They hide information in places like that. Um, you mean, once you get in a habit, so like I said, success is no secret. It's a freaking science. Just do what successful people do. It's the same across the board. Um, you're working hard already. Work hard for yourself. And at college, I was the GM of restaurants. And how many people with an MBA I hired to wait tables because they made more money doing that than what they did with their MBA? Colleges are just inflated out of control now. I mean, they're, they're for-profit businesses. And like they give you your degree that don't mean crap anymore. Everyone got a degree now. I mean, it used to mean something. They're, they're, they're not teaching. They're, and the way the technology is moving, they're three to four years behind the scenes on everything. Yeah. They, they, they cannot, absolutely cannot, the way a curriculum goes through, it's going to take two years to actually pass that curriculum. And you know in this business, you're already too late. This changes every Every month, there's something changing. Every week, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You so know what I mean? Every week. You know, you got to keep up on it. And if you don't know what it is, you're, you're learning something from two years ago that no longer applies. And it's just going to be a lot longer. And it's, it's a lot more expensive. It's just ridiculous. I mean, like, what they're charging for. It's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? So uh, you can obviously see that right there. That yep. is uh, ASU. That's my wife's. Uh, so the, the white thing right above it. It's called the stole of gratitude. So you give that, you know, your shawl, your stole, as they call it, um, to somebody who you felt helped benefit you to get through college. So I hang that on my wall. My wife gave that to me when she graduated. The reason I bring that up, though, is because, uh, you know, she spent four times more for her education than I did. And for the first year, she was out of school. And she's one of the, she is the smartest woman I know in my life. No, no, hands down. For the first year she was out of school, she had to struggle to find herself a job. Now, here's someone who has two degrees, who is an engineer, who is a people person, deals with this guy on a daily basis, so you know she can deal with people, and still couldn't get hired for almost a year, and had dedicated herself to something that was bigger and better than herself, which in my mind is an amazing thing and I'm very proud of her for doing, but which really kind of blows my mind and we just were hitting on it is how reluctant people are to do that in a realm other than the college experience. And I don't want to put 
anybody down who's put in, you know, the four years, the six years, the eight years to be a doctor, whatever it may be. But I know. Oh, no, I'm not knocking it, but people think that's just the answer. And tell you something, sometimes at 18 years old, you don't know what the hell you want to do. Yeah. I mean, so you, you spent all that money, you, you're buried in loans. Like I said, I hired everyone with an MBA. I'm like, uh, you know, I, I almost felt bad because they had to pay off their student loans. And, and that's uh, the thing. A job. It's just an entry level position is all you're getting out of college. Everyone thinks they're going to come out and make 100 grand a year. I'm like, that ain't the case. And you you're, it's, very, it's very rare to see that. It really is. It's very rare to see someone come out of college four years and start making 100 grand a year. And what most people don't realize is that you've never made that much money in your life. And now that you're making more than $60,000 a year, you fall into a different tax bracket. So now $100,000 a year is actually only $60,000 a year. And there's like all these things that people don't understand. They're like, oh, well, how come I can't pay off this debt? It's well, you weren't prepared for it, uh, you know, and there was nobody teaching you it, which is super beneficial about AWOL and Master's Academy once you're elite is that they teach you the tax side of things, you know, how to leverage your wealth instead of getting handing it over to the government every freaking year. Yep. Uh, which, you know, you, you use Mark Kohler, who is, who teaches that in, um, Masters Academy and who I'm going to be switching over to here very shortly is incredible to, to optimize that. And what I wanted to say a little bit earlier, uh, and I know you, you, you had something to say, which is awesome, but you know, to be able to make as much as someone with an engineering degree or a doctorate and not have to spend as much on my education to get there, be able to, you know, for me personally, my elite investment was, was paid off in six months. I didn't do it nearly as fast as you. It took me a little bit, about double what it took you. But once I had that paid off and I started moving forward, you know, I had consecutive, you know, five figure months. And then now this month I'm on track to have double any other month I've ever had. Yep. And that's just being consistent in my business, sticking to the skills I know and, and utilizing them, leveraging them and, and you do, this yeah, doing six figures. <laughs> this will be the first time in my entire life that I will do a six figure year. And that's, that's mind blowing to me. You know, I, I'm about, if everything stays on track this month, I'm about to make more in a single month than I've ever made in an entire year in my life. <laughs> that's insane to me. Isn't it? All because I took a leap of faith, invested in learning a skill set, and then just believed in it and enough not to give up. That's all I did. I'm not, you know, I say it all the time. People are like, what, what are you doing? That's different. What, how, what's the secret? There is no freaking secret. Yeah. I just, I just do what I'm told. I'm, yep. I do what I was taught. Yeah. Now I, I do a little bit more of a customization and a spin now that I know more, but it, it's basically the same information is available to everybody who's in the system. Everybody who's willing to take that, that leap of faith, as we call it, and invest in themselves, have the same exact information as you, me, and anyone else who's being super successful in this industry. And it, it mind blowing what's capable. Yeah, absolutely. And, that, and that's what it all comes down to is like, what are you willing to do for yourself? Um, we, all, we all have the same information. Some people excel, some people don't. And some people just quit. But like I said, quitting is taught. If you're gonna quit, What's the sense? You're going to quit at everything because what, what, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So you know, if, you, if you quit before, I mean, don't quit now. Quitting is just, I mean, you're giving up. I mean, you're, 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 you're just consuming like your average life and trying to, that's why people get miserable when they, I mean, they're just fed up. It's, it's not worth it. Invest in yourself. Like it's, it's not even like the money anymore. It's the way I live. It's, you know, like I said, I'm going to go for a swim. I'll go for a way. I mean, I've traveled more in the last year and a half than I have in the last 15 years. It, it's absolutely freaking ridiculous the way I live now. And it's, like I said, money's great, but it's, it's a lot of other things that come along with it. But it being, you got to go through the, the gates of hell to see the glory of heaven. That's for sure. You know, that, that, that is a no, no doubt. <laughs> you got to put in the work, but for the amount of actual effort you need to put in, compared to your return on that effort, where else do you really see that other than here in online marketing? Never. Right? 
Never. You make money while you sleep. You, you make money while you sleep. You wake up and you just, I mean, you just have twelve hundred sitting there. You're like, ha. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing and it's a needed skill. You know what I mean? It, it, it teaches it with ethics. I think that slimy, Hey, I mean, hey, if you're fat, eat this pill, you're skinny. Now it, it's not that slimy crap. It, it's, it's built on honesty and actually delivering value. Yeah. And that's one thing I really love about uh, AWOL and you and I have talked about it is that people who come into this industry that are looking for a get rich quick that are, uh, without integrity, who don't care about scamming people and just don't live up to what AWOL really represents, they don't last long. Not long like, long. They weed themselves out. We don't even have to do anything. We don't have to say anything. They just eventually are gone and they just yeah. they realize they don't belong because they, they go ahead. Yeah, they just suck. I mean, they, they know they don't, they don't fit in because there's honesty, there's integrity, there's, there's a lot of things. And if you're just out to scam somebody for money that that's just not how we do things you know that's just not how we do things at all so <laughs> shouldn't be a way anybody does anything but and, and you know i've you and i both have heard you know our mentor and co-founder of awol kiala talk about it a million times this is not a get rich quick this is a skill set this is learning skills to build a business set yourself free and then everyone's like oh i completely understand and then the very next question is well how fast can i make money yeah, uh, that's you know kind of contradictory. We understand that, but I've, I've been doing like, this a uh, month. I'm like, eh, what's a month mean, dude? Yeah, yeah. You know? we've uh, we've seen some very interesting people come through. Um, you know, wondering why they have uh, five leads and no sales. They've been doing it a month. Well, you you need a little bit more work. That's all there is to it. I mean, that's, yeah, it's, it's bottom line. You haven't yeah. mastered the skills yet. You're, you know, you, you just got to master them. That's all there is to it. It comes down to assumptions. People assume how it's going to work and assume what it should be doing. And it's, I mean, I, I see them assume in the training. Well, no, he said to Mike, he didn't listen. You assumed, you thought he knew what he was talking about, but you didn't listen. It's, I mean, it's all right there. It's, I mean, I followed it. I don't even, I don't even know what they were talking about. I had to, I had to put up another screen and Google stuff. I'm like, I have no idea what that word means. No, I, I had to look up the definitions of definitions. I'm like, I, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it gets different, but it's all freaking worth it. It's like, you get rich quick now. If you're going to assume now, um, it's not going to happen. But I mean, because that doesn't exist. It yeah. doesn't exist. But this I really is the wish fastest way to get money. I'll tell you that. I just kind of wish that there was a way to, to like cement it into people's minds that, yeah, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. There isn't, you know, you just, you buy the program, you watch it once and you're going to make, you know, <laughs> a month like some of us do. But there also is like that side of it that I want them to really understand that is if you were to dedicate yourself to learning these skills, mastering them, you know, and, and constantly trying to grow and learn more then the ability to make boatloads of money is literally at your fingertips on this computer. You know, there are people in this industry that make more a month than I, like spend more a month on ads than I can even make. Like that's insane to me. Like 30,000, 300,000, hundred thousand dollars a month. They're spending millions. Like the guys at the summit was spending millions a month. Oh yeah. That, that's just, that's a whole different level. That's a whole different caliber. That's that's Kiala status, and we're not yeah. <laughs> we're not quite there yet. No, nah, me either. But there. Um, you know where you know you can spend a million dollars a month to make you know twenty million dollars a month. Which because the return on this, yeah, return on this is better than any business. Like I had a pizza shop. I mean, you run a great business. You got your rent, your bills, your, your payroll, ba ba ba. I mean, if if, if you're pulling out like twenty five percent out of what you spent and you got 25% on top, you're running a good business. This a hundred is, is pa. You know what I mean? Spend 10, make 20. I'll do that all day long. That means how much can I spend a day to bring in that much money? That's literally, that's how it works. Once you scale it, it's over. It's, I mean, you want to make 10 grand a day, spend 10 grand a day. You'll bring in 20. It's, it's, <laughs> it's silly. It's, I don't know anybody 
and I mean, I don't know everybody, but I don't know anybody right now in the AWOL system or the GAZ system that is spending 10 grand a month that isn't making over 30. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I spend three grand a month to make, uh, this month it's at 21, but previously it was 12. So I was spending three to make 12. Now I'm spending three to make 21. Like it's it just, it, the return on investment is insane. Insane. Yeah. If you take the time to learn the skills and take a leap of faith to, to invest in yourself. It's just, mm-hmm. it's an amazing thing. I got friends now that are hitting me up from back home, you know, that were just like, Hey, what are you doing? I get to see your, you know, you know, I went to Alaska recently with that video, all the things that we've been doing, the traveling I've been able to do, like you were talking about. People are like, how are you traveling so much? How are you doing all these things? And well, I decided to invest in an education, invest in myself. And now I use those skills to make myself money online. And now I have time freedom and all these things that everyone's preaching about online. But I actually took the time to learn them, I sacrificed. I did all these things that no one's willing to do to be where I am today. Yeah. yeah. yeah it, uh, my cousin wanted to know and he goes, I don't like to read. I'm like, okay. I hate reading. Honestly, <laughs> I hate it. I hate <laughs> reading nonfiction books, but you know what? I picked up Think and Grow Rich two years ago, when I, before, or two and a half years ago, right before I started the mobile auto glass business and changed my world. Changed my world. Oh, if you, if anybody out here who's watching this video right now, if you hate reading, pick up Thing and Grow Rich or Happy Pocket Full of Money, which Happy Pocket Full of Money might be a little bit more advanced. It's like very scientific. Get some quantum a little bit, yeah. Think and Grow Rich, if you can sit down and take the time to read that whole book and you don't have a profound impact mentally and in your life from that book, then maybe reading is not for you. But I don't know anybody in this industry, most of the people in this industry started with that very book. That book is the one that turned them on to becoming who they are today. And I, I would implore you, I would even challenge you, challenge accepted, see it? Take the challenge, read a book, and I would highly recommend it be Think and Grow Rich to start. Huh? Get the audio book if you don't like to read. There you go. Simple solution. I'm pretty sure that even YouTube offers a free version of it. You don't even have to buy the audio book. Yep. You know, there's always there's always a loophole. If you don't have the cash at the time, there's always – search the internet. Google will find it for you. They always do. But I would <laughs> highly implore you and encourage you and even challenge you. If you don't like reading, read Think and Grow Rich. And if Napoleon Hill, this book was written pre-World War II. And it's still to this day is one of the most read business books in the world. If it doesn't resonate with you and, and impact you, then maybe this, you know, maybe not for you. But changed my world. And now I read every day. And I honestly, if it wasn't something that was going to make me escape reality, I wasn't reading it. I read sci-fi and fantasy growing up. I read about dragons and all these crazy things that I love to know about. You know, that's probably why I love Game of Thrones so much. It's just like that whole genre has always appealed to me. Yeah. But being able to read nonfictions, gain knowledge, and move forward in my life, that has been so beneficiary to me. Like, I, I would not be who I am today. I wouldn't be able to travel and do the things I do today if I never picked up those books and if I never started on this path. So, yeah, okay. it's a, Warren Buffett even said it. If he was allowed a superpower, he wants to be able to read faster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I, I read somewhere that he spends like somewhere, it's, it's over eight hours a day just reading. Mm-hmm. He has it. But what's really crazy about him, too, is every morning he eats at McDonald's. Yeah. He still drives his old beater. He still eats at McDonald's breakfast every morning. Like he has success, but never changed the way he lives. He still lives a simple in a simple home, drives a simple car, McDonald's, but is one of the most sought after investors in the world. Makes more money than most people will ever dream, but spends all his time reading and living the simple life. Yep. We live in an information world and information is power. 
knowledge is power. That's where it all is. I mean, like having a skill set and your knowledge, your knowledge about yourself, your knowledge about the world around you, knowledge about the skill set that can take you away. That, that is where all the power lies. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it, 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 like I said, there's a huge economic shift going on out there. I mean, people at McDonald's screaming they want 15 bucks an hour. McDonald's says, okay, we'll put in computers that can do your job. You know what I mean? It's not meant to be a, a career where you raise three children on. Pick up your skill sets. Get a skill set that is going to take you into the future. The skill set gives you, you can live the way you want to. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you can, like, if you like going to your job, you love your job, go for it, man. I'm not saying this is the only way to go. You know what I mean? I'm not knocking college. I mean, it, for me, it just wasn't going to give me what I needed. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, a lot of 18-year-olds, it doesn't, they don't know where they're going at that point. You know what I mean? If you're going to be a lawyer or a doctor, actually, go to college, you know what I mean? But you know, it's this this has a lifestyle that comes with it. A lot of it is, you know what I mean? There's, there's some traveling, there's like traveling for fun, but you can work anywhere. I can put my laptop under my arm and work anywhere I am. I worked while we were in Hawaii, you know what I mean? Do a couple hours in the morning and I'm good. I'm at the beach. I mean, it's, it's it, but it, 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 that's the end result. It's not going to stop right there. I'm not trying to sell anybody on, ah, I just, Pick up a computer and you'll be, ah, no, 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 no. you got to work for it. you got to master your skills. Money follows mastery. Always. I love it. And there's two things that I want to touch on. I know we're, you know, we're at the top of the hour, but there's two things that I would really like for you to, to talk about. Um, one is that, you know, there's a common misconception that people don't have the time, right, to dedicate to this. And I know you personally know somebody who flows that whole that whole thing out of the water? And uh, if you could share about that a little bit, and then I'll I'll hit you up with the next one. Yeah, um, I hear all the time. Well, I have two kids. You don't get it. Um, I don't have the time. Uh, I don't have the time. I, I hear that all the time. I work with a woman in the agency. Uh, she has eight children. She homeschools them. She raises hogs, cattle, and horses while she's homeschooling eight of her children. She works with me in the agency. She runs um, two of her own business. She has gas and a wall, and she takes clients on the side while she has a husband and enough time to make eight children. So when people say they don't have the time, it's, it, it's bull crap. You're not using it properly. I mean, oh, I need my downtime. So you need to sit there and watch a baseball game for three hours. I'd plow through a book in three hours. You know what I mean? What I got is going to make me money. What you got is nothing. Is um. You get all worked up because uh, your team didn't win. Let me tell you something. That team's getting paid. What are you doing? You know what I mean? That, that when you ain't got time, you've got the time. You're just not using it the way it's supposed to be done. Amen, brother. Uh, you know, every time I, I hear you talk about that, and every time I talk to Devin, honestly, um, you know, Devin Thomas is a, a huge, per like, very successful person in life and is doing very well in online marketing. He's got six kids, two pizza franchises, a whole farm, and is still one of the top producers in AWOL. Like, there's always time. It's, the, it's what is your highest value, right? And we learn a lot about that throughout, you know, the courses we've taken, the people we surround ourselves with. You know, Dr. D. Martini, brilliant man. You know, he was told he had, like, dyslexia. He was told he wasn't going to be able to read or write or do any of these things. Now he's probably one of the most intelligent people I've you know, ever had the ability to learn from. And, you know, it's just, it's so amazing to me what, what, what can change when you change the story you're telling yourself, right? So you can change the, and going back to what you were talking about, you know, you tell yourself you don't have the time, right? Well, when I got started in this industry, I had a whole other business I was running, two kids, which you've seen one of them come through this many times already, that I take care of all day, every day, while my wife's out pursuing her passions and doing her job. Plus, I'm also taking the time to learn a whole new skill set that has obviously been very beneficial to me. I keep reading. Uh, I'm always on top of these things. And so it's, it's literally a simple mindset shift, right? So if you were to take the time to say, instead of saying to yourself, oh, I don't have time to fit all that in, instead, you know, take a serious look at what you're spending time on and see if maybe you can cut out that, you know, episode of uh, The Walking Dead or, you know, TiVo, which, you know, we record and have instant access to everything these days. 
Like, why couldn't you TiVo the football or baseball game and take that time to read? And then when you do have free time because you have taken the time to dedicate to your skill set, to dedicate to your freedom, dedicate to building your life of wealth and abundance, and now you have this extra time, you can hit play on that TiVo and enjoy it just as well. But you also now don't have to worry about how the bills are going to get paid, uh, why you have no free time with your family. Like these were things that people are complaining about all the time, but there are simple solutions if you just take the time to audit your time. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, back in Boston, I had season tickets to the Patriots for years. You know what I mean? I, last year, I didn't watch it. Uh, I did watch one game. I lied. I did watch one game last year. You know what I mean? I don't care. Tom Brady going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he's going to be just fine. He's got no issues. Yeah, he's, like, yeah. he's well paid. Yeah, it's my ass I'm worried about. You know what? And that's, those are the sacrifices that you make. To, to get it done. So what? I didn't watch football. It's like Caesar's. It's like Caesar's Coliseum, if you ask me. Anyways, the reason why you have the Coliseum is to take the mobs of people and entertain them while they did whatever they wanted. I you know what I mean? That that was all it was, and that's how I feel about you mean organized sports right now. I'm like, it, I mean, there'll be a time, yeah. Like when when I got plenty of plenty of time. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll relax with it. Absolutely. Right now, it's just not the time. Amen, brother. Amen. Uh, you know, and you and I both being Italian kind of fall, we, we kind of like to read more about Roman history and things like that. I know, you know, Marcus Aurelius is somebody that both of us, you know, take a lot yep. from. Um, and it's, it's crazy because it's been in existence forever. The ability to distract the populace with such simple things as like the Colosseum games, you know, today's society, we have the ability to literally, you know, Click that button, and and, and we're, we're pretty much in the Coliseum. We're watching baseball. We're watching basketball. We're watching football, UFC, you know, all these things that can help us distract ourselves from what's actually needing to be done and the problems that need to be handled. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, oh, yeah. It's, it distracts you from what you really got to be doing. turns you into a, the walking dead. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know? All right. So I know that uh, we've gone a little bit over what I normally do, but I just, I mean, when someone gets on a roll about something, I don't ever want to stop them. I love, I love hearing it. Um, but, you know, uh, before I do the little bit of housekeeping I got to do and close this out, I just wanted to ask you one last question, which is for anybody who might be reluctant about getting started or is just getting started, what is one gem, one piece of value, a little bit of knowledge you might want to drop on them to really – help them propel themselves to where they need to be reach out reach out you got you got a community of people that won't give up on you the only one that can give up on you is you um reach out i mean especially like we uh, talked about it last night not just with all the technical questions and the confusion reach out with a doubt like i'm not i mean I'm, I'm, if you're doubting yourself reach out this 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 community here is something like you've never been around. It isn't just all technical questions and goofy stuff. It, um, you care about what, because we're all going through it. We all been through it. We're all going through it on a constant basis. If you got doubt about yourself, doubt about your family, I mean, if you just got to vent, reach out, man. That's um, probably the best thing I can give. If you're, you're, if you're on the fence about doing it, the, the leap of faith, there's, there's money back guarantees. I mean, it's, it, <laughs> you know, no one's got a gun you had. But um, invest in yourself for once instead of investing in somebody else's dream. That's, that's the best thing I can say on that. And that was amazing, brother. I just want to personally say I am very grateful for you to take time out of your day. I know you're a very, you know, we have the luxury of time these days, but I know you're also extremely busy. I know you're launching a whole new thing for yourself on top of you are organic, plus you're still working in the agency. Um, with somebody that, you know, is a mentor to both of us. And now you, you get to work with him, which is helping you hone in your skills. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day today to jump on this interview with me and uh, really help enlighten, educate, and inspire uh, everyone out there to, you know, not be scared of taking this jump and to show them what's truly possible 
for anybody who does that. So thank you so much, brother. No, I really no, that, thank you, man. Anything for you, anytime. You know what I mean? It's uh, you're out there helping people. You, they, they mean, you got the light. You, have, you I got your back a thousand percent all the time, my man. Appreciate you, man. I really do. So I got a couple little bit of housekeeping things, and then I'm gonna close it out. So if you want to log off, it's up to you. If you can hang out, it's, it's either way. Either way is fine with me. But um, so for everyone watching, uh, if you had any, any gained any value or really this resonated with you in any way, do me a favor and hit like. Uh, it should be down there. Um, and then you know if you want to not miss out on any of the future interviews, it's gonna be one a week coming out. I'm going to do my best to make sure that they're happening, whether I'm traveling or what's going on. I know right now I have a very close, uh, you know, my brother actually is in the hospital. Um, and I'm still taking the time to drop this value for you guys, even though that's a big concern of mine. That's something I need to be there for. Um, I have a point in my life now where I can do both and I'm truly grateful for that. So, you know, if you want to not miss out on any of the future interviews or any of the future value or knowledge that's going to be dropped, please subscribe. Um, and do us a huge favor and well, comment in the thread below your biggest takeaway. What was the most impactful thing uh, that Jeff and I talked about? Uh, either one of us, it doesn't have to be both, but just you know, comment and, and let us know what it was that really resonated with you, what impacted you. Um, this is gonna help me in the future interviews to ask better questions, more questions that are gonna be more aligned with what you're wanting to know. So please, I really appreciate it if you take the time uh, to do that so that we can really engineer these interviews to give you the most value possible. Um, other than that, Jeff, thank you again. I love you, brother. Thank you, brother. I love you, and uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah, absolutely, brother. Peace. <laughs> Peace.